Scott and I are at the Hasegawa booth checking out a very interesting new release uh, from the world of Macross, from Macross Plus actually. Uh, this is the Thunderbolt. It's a completely all new tooling. Every single part of this kit is completely new for this model. Um, it's the VF-11B Thunderbolt, as you can see here, all new tooling, Macross Plus, and it is, uh, well, let's talk about the features. It has uh, movable wings, you move one wing, and they will both move. They don't really swing a whole lot, kind of like an F-14, but they move a little bit. Uh, it has a positional air brakes on there. You can uh, choose, you have to choose though, one way or the other. They, they don't move after, after assembly, but you can have them either way. Uh, and what other cool stuff we have? Well, you got all the UN spacey decals here. You got the, some nice clear parts for all that stuff. And everything you see here is a completely new tool for this kit. It's the VF-11B Thunderbolt, all new from Hasegawa. We're over at the uh, Hasegawa booth. Now, Hasegawa, of course, dabbles in all genres these days, but when you think Hasegawa, what do you think? Airplanes. So let's take a look at Hasegawa's new airplane offering, shall we? Um, we were hoping to see the, the new ride-in, and we have a nice painting of the new ride-in, and we have a nice illustration of the parts for the new ride-in, and we have a photograph of a wooden mock-up of a ride-in, but we don't have any parts. Uh, so it looks like we're still a ways away on actually getting the uh, product of the ride in, but they're saying it's going to be available in July. So with nothing else to show you, we'll move right along to the EA-16G Growler, the successor to the EA-6B Prowler in the Navy. Uh, obviously for this aircraft kit, uh, Hasegawa's had to make some very significant changes to their Super Hornet kit, and we can see what those are right here. Whole new fuselage parts, exhaust parts, all of the weapons pods and stuff, uh, some additional slats and other intake changes that were made. So it's uh, a lot of additional new parts in order to do the uh, the Growler, which is a very, very cool version uh, of the Hornet, if you ask me. So definitely a recommendable kit there. Uh, and, but their biggest new push uh, is the Su-33 Flanker D, uh, which you probably know is the carrier-based version of the Sukhoi 27. Uh, there's quite a few changes that were made to this, more than the Growler. The uh, Sukhoi 33, it's got those little canards in front of the wings. Uh, it's got foldable wings, although the kit does not. Uh, it's got, of course, a uh, tail hook added. It's got beefed up landing gear and uh, some other changes that were made. But those are all beautifully represented in this kit. Uh, and I love this, this goofy blue tricolor scheme. There's something about that scheme that uh, I really like personally, although I'm sure it would be a real pain in the butt uh, to mask and paint that. Uh, but it really looks neat. So uh, all new tooling now uh, of the Flanker D, uh, based of course on the Suhoi 27. Uh, and this is, uh, I'm sure, going to be a very good seller because there just has been a dearth of, uh, of really good Russian aircraft kits.